How you doing, ladies and gentlemen of my of YouTube and my YouTube followers and the people that said sign on and the people that's gonna sign on? Uh, greetings to y'all this morning. Um, this is uh, April the eighth, twenty twenty two. First, let me just do this, um, everybody. Let me let me say some. Let me put some out there so I can always have a memory with my children, my three children that's not uh, physically with me as they ought to be. You know, my three children. So my three youngest children. So um, I just want to let y'all know. Uh, uh, I just let's see. Um, Baby J, YJ, the Mrs. Just want to let y'all know that. Um, and I, I one day it's gonna come. Y'all walls, and y'all gonna always be walls, and the blood run through y'all veins as walls, and y'all ain't gonna be nothing else. So, um, but right now it's been a lot of difficulty. I want y'all to know it's been a lot of difficulty with the justice system here in Rockingham, Hamlet, North Carolina, Richmond County. Let's cover the whole county. Richmond County, you know, we have, I have dealt um, uh, they have used y'all, my children, to try to get at your daddy, to get at your daddy with the evil stuff they have done to your daddy. You know, from the judges to the clerk of courts, People that works in the clerk of court office to the sheriff department, um, um, a little bit of Rockingham Police Department and a little bit of Hamlet Police Department. So it's, uh, DSS has been one of the main focus point and prejudice and prejudice judges. And I'm gonna call out a few names and a few names. The, the, the Sophia Crawford, Sophia Gatewood Crawford. And I think she's finna get married again, so I don't know. I want y'all to. I want y'all when y'all grow up and y'all see this and your daddy's video on YouTube, you can see the people that hated your daddy and try to get at your daddy. And you know, and for what? Because I stopped them from doing wrong, doing me wrong, and I get back at them and I publicize them. So that's the whole thing why they get at me. So, and they have they use you, they use y'all, my children, they use your mother, you know, to do the same, the 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 the, the hurt me in all kind of ways. So, and they could care less about, you know, your mother, they could care less about y'all. They don't care nothing about no wall in this county. They never have, never will care anything about the walls, my walls. You understand what I'm saying? But they never thought that this wall right here, they never thought this wall would grow up to fight them back. They never thought that and win. See, they never thought that. So I just want to leave that message for my children that, um, hey, it ain't over. You know, all we know it ain't over until God says over. You know, and, I, and I'm gonna be the winner of this. When it does clear begins to be against the judges, the, the wicked judges, the wicked DSS system that caused the separation between my family, um, the magistrate that caused separation between my family, the, the sheriff's officer, sheriff, chief with chief, and the the, the 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 um sheriff of the sheriff that used to be the sheriff and the assistant sheriff, and looks like he's gonna be a sheriff of this county. So yes, so I just want to put that out there for y'all to y'all for y'all to see this because it's a, every everything here in Richmond County against the wall because your daddy's a fighter and his and, and your daddy children is a fighter so y'all gonna grow up to be fighters too so uh, so now I just want to just put that out there now let me get, get on some uh, other stuff here this morning uh, I, I know who the judge is now it's, uh, the judge that presided over me and the prejudice judge maggot judge to me. And that's just bottom line. He's a maggot judge to me. Um, uh, Warren Sweeney. What is it? What is it? Uh, uh, well, anyway, I know his name. The last time I keep. Uh, uh, well, anyway, I know his name. You <laughs> know, the first name is Warren. Oh, <laughs> uh, so yeah. And he the one that presided over me, prejudice over me in the court. You know what I'm saying? Had he tried the case? He tried. Me and my lawyer had a, 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 a contempt against my ex-wife first, right? And um, then she went and took out a contempt, had her lawyer take out David McGuire, which is another maggot lawyer. I had him to take out a attempt uh, uh, up on me for not picking my kids or for not visiting with my own kids. What kind of junk is that, y'all? I mean, I, have y'all ever been locked up for not seeing your kids? <laughs> you one right here. Yes, sir. Yep, I'm the one. But here's the thing that make this judge such a bias maggot of a judge you're gonna try me you know he could have tried both of the contempts at the same time both of them he could have tried because my contempt as a matter of fact he's gonna have to try her first because my contempt was against her first 
But instead, he tried me first on the contempt and still didn't try her. See, I had this contempt against uh, my ex-wife since um, um, uh, October 21. And right after, shortly after that, she put a contempt on me. So who supposed to got tried first? So, and then, and see, that's what shows you the pro the bias and the prejudice. Because and the, the reality of it, he's supposed to have to try her first, really, on her contempt that I had against her. But no, try me first on my contempt, and then end up putting me in jail for contempt. So that shows you how biased this maggot judge was. You know what I'm saying? And that's the kind of thing that um that this judge should have never done. He never should even been a judge because he already got it in his ear. And by the, the um, full sheriff that was already in the courtroom, you know, that let me know that something was wrong right there already. So it was already planned out that that judge was going to send me to jail regardless. And I saw it coming. I saw it coming. So I just want to let y'all know. And, then, and I ain't going to touch on, uh, uh, um, I ain't going to touch on that much. I just want to let y'all know that here, here I am. And, uh, and then, that, and, and, and let me just put out this to y'all to let y'all know. First of all, I don't think that um, Gully should ever be a sheriff here in Richmond County. Because y'all go take one look at that jail and how that jail is being ran up there. You can go ahead and buy all these brand new Tahoes. They'll have your uh, white officer driving them around. And then you're going to bust the black officer back to the jail and have them running the jail. So everybody that's down there running the jail is black. And all the white ones out on the street. That's right. It's a prejudice thing. Y'all better look at this. Clemens, Clemens had Gullis to be his um, number two man. And he was white. Clemens was black. And Gullis is white. So tell me why Gullis ain't got a black um, second in command under him. Tell me. No, he got another white one. Everybody white. See, he's surrounding himself with all the white people to do what he want, to get what he want to get done. And then he, 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 de he degrading the black people. Y'all better, look, y'all better wake up to this and see what's going on right here in Richmond County. This prejudice junk going on. Y'all better wake up with the junk that Gullich is doing and what he been doing. Only thing difference between, between when he was doing it then and doing it now is now he is active sheriff now until the re-election. So y'all, I'm going to ask y'all to come on out and watch what this junk is going on because I done been inside that jail to see how nasty and filthy and grimy that jail is until it ain't nothing. And, and people sleep almost sleeping on top of people, you know. Y'all better wake up to this, and y'all and, and I'm a bring, I'm bringing it to the light to y'all for y'all to see this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was just I was in jail, and it was horrible up in there. You know, you don't get medical treatment, you don't get the kind of food that you're supposed to eat, being high blood or diabetic. You know, they don't do nothing for you down there, but help you die. Help the, if if you want to go to if you want to go somewhere to get help to die, that's one place you can go. It's Richmond County Jail if you want to get uh, assistance in getting uh, assistance in helping me get dead in there or get some kind of disease right there in Richmond County Jail. They don't provide disinfectant to keep the block, the cell blocks clean. They don't provide you with, you know, your, your soap, toothpaste, tooth, all that type stuff, your hygienic, your personal hygienic that you need to keep yourself clean. They don't provide none of that. They ain't provide none of that to me. So, and then we got a sheriff of this county that's uh, over this old thing, and he over that jail, he number one man. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm seeing all these sheriffs running around here, new car, new um, Tahoe, but then you go in that jail. But you can't do nothing in the jail. You can't get that clean and straightened up. So yeah, my opinion of that, y'all, he don't need to be a sheriff in Richmond County. I'm talking about don't ever, because this thing, and then number two man on uh, children, ch children's, are you serious? Man, let me tell you something. Boy, I, man, I can tell y'all some things. You hear me? Boy, I, I mean, I can tell y'all some things now. You hear me? Boy, boy, y'all just don't know what's this thing with Gully doing. Y'all just don't know what's going on here. You know, y'all really don't know, but I'm going to tell you what's going on. You can best believe that. I'm going to tell I ain't going to say a lot about it right now, but I'm going to tell you what's going on, what I know. You hear me? <laughs> Woo! But when I heard that, I was like, what? And then they go, and then they busting all of the black people, changing their jobs, taking their jobs away from them and getting it to the white people. Y'all better look, I don't want to sound bad, but y'all got to under y'all got to see this thing. If y'all don't see prejudice, y'all better wake up. Y'all, if y'all don't see the prejudice and what Gullich is doing up there, y'all better wake up. I'm telling you. Now, now why why he why he couldn't have a number two man to be black, a black. Cause he ain't want no black person telling saying nothing about what what to do. 
You know, so you want to pile them all. You, you got people locked up in jail, so you want to lock his jailers up too. Lock all the black people up in jail too. So not only that we were locked up in there, the jailers is locked up themselves. All black. They in there locked up too. They're like I was locked up. And putting their and putting their life at risk for some nonsense junk. I ain't gonna talk to y'all on this, but I just wanted to just bring that out there and let y'all know. Look, this stuff here in Richmond County, and then the people see it ain't Richmond County that's the problem. It's the people in charge that's the problem. And yeah, and Reese Saunders, he's another one. I don't think that need that, that my opinion don't need to be a district attorney here no more because he pray Reese Saunders is a prejudiced district attorney, and that's one spot that he holds that he don't got to be prejudiced. Only thing he can, only thing he can do, uh, he's elected official is fight for the citizen of this county, and, and and prosecute those who did, who have broke the law. Like my ex-wife Michelle Wall, she broke the law by assaulting me, and yet going on four years that um this district attorney office hasn't um tried this woman. I'm talking about tried this woman with the video. I mean, 100 percent. How this woman? And that ain't the only time she assaulted me now. So um. Resigned the lane, took it up to say, hey, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. A misdemeanor assault charge going for four years. Y'all tell me how many times you had a misdemeanor assault charge that last four years in the doggone district court here in, 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 in Nansen Superior Court here in Richmond County. I mean, I done been, I grew up here in the 80s on. And I ain't never had no assault charge run on me that long for no doggone four, I'm going on no four years. You know, the woman done been on probation. Then got all probation for assault me. Been on probation for assault me. Then got all probation for assault me. And assaulted me while on probation. And still here it is going on four years later. And that ain't still ain't tried that woman. Y'all listen here. You know, Reese son is a, a to me, in my opinion, is a prejudiced district attorney. He prejudiced against certain people. Now he could, and that don't mean that he can necessarily be prejudiced against me. He can prejudice against white people. Anything that don't fit, or, or anything that somebody want to go against, he prejudices against it. Instead of doing, the, of violating, the, applying the law and protecting the citizens of Richmond County, Resonance is not doing that. And we need a district attorney that's going to protect the citizens of Richmond County, just like we need a, a, a sheriff that's going to protect the citizens of Richmond County. We need a sheriff. We need a district attorney. We need a clerk of court that go in there, that do what that do what's right and not do not be about this bias stuff to hurt people that's innocent. You know, I'm innocent, but I'm being hurt. You know, y'all seen all the time that the, uh, my ex-wife done assaulted me, but yeah, I'm the one that's being hurt. Like I'm like I'm the per perpetrator. I'm the, the victim, but I'm being treated as the, uh, as I am the perpetrator. I'm being treated that way with the sheriff department. I'm being treated that way with the DSS. I'm being treated that way with the uh, the, re uh, the district attorney's office. That's why I check them out. I check them out because you know what? That ain't right. You know, I'm gonna fight for what's right. I'm gonna fight for what's right because you know what I'm saying. Because if you don't, if you don't fight for what's right, what you what you gonna take? You gonna lay down and take anything. So I publicize it and and send it to board. You know, and that's what I do. I publicize it and I send it to board. You know, and I'm gonna keep on doing it until some come through here and break all this mess up. You know, break that sheriff department up and that wicked prejudice sheriffs up there, and break that district attorney's office up, which is the head. Cause I ain't got nothing to say about the assistant district attorneys up there, but them head, but that I got something to say about the head based on the fact that he's a judge, judge around me, district, uh, my lawyer, and then furthermore, now district attorney. So he got all the he got all the weapons that he can do to be against me and hurt me, and that's what he doing, because you know he ain't doing nothing that he should. He ain't doing nothing. That, that, you know, I mean, y'all come on now, y'all go with me on this. Four years going on four years for a assault charge that he could have done tried my ex wife on. Come on, y'all. <laughs> what? Come on now. I remember my lawyer told me up in court on the fourth of April on um, 2022 they gonna try me first for my contempt. What about her? What about her, the contempt against her? What about her? And they're going to put down, according to what the uh, court officials say, going, oh, well, we got an open time in, in July. So now the, so now her contempt going to be put off until July? And modification going to put off until July of 2022? Oh, you got to be out your mind. That goes to show you I don't want to step my foot in that courtroom here in Richmond County again. 
and no way for I don't want to be there because it ain't nothing but a prejudice against me. That's all it is. And everybody up there, clerk, some clerk or court officials, everybody got their hand against me. But, it, but I'm going to tell you this, everybody up there pulling their hands against me back to you 10 times in the name of Jesus. Before you even get it out your mouth, you're thinking in your brain, back to you 10 times more what you pulling your hands on me about. The Lord going to see to that. Lord going to see to that in Jesus' name. You're going to get it back 10 times worse. Each and every one of them have pulled your hands against me to hurt me despitefully. Take that now. Now, I ain't going to hold y'all on. I'm going to let y'all go. I just want to bring a little bit of light to you. And I'm going to come back to you with some more information. But for right now, um, uh, that's it. Thank y'all for joining in and keep on coming. Thank you.